rejuvenation, the big topic. Everyone wants to get old, but nobody wants to be old. So we want to win years, but we also want to win vitality. And rejuvenation or anti-aging is all about resetting our inner clocks. And we have quite a few of inner clocks, biological clocks, that are related to the aging process. And now the latest is the microbial clock that we have in the intestines. If I take a stool sample from, from any individual and pass it on, send it to a sequencing laboratory without providing the date of birth of the individual, the laboratory is able, plus minus four years, to state exactly the age of the individual. Because the diversity of the different bacteria that we have when we are very young declines over age, and that is a single signal for aging, actually. So what we do is, we, we try to play a trick on the body. We try to reset that, this inner clock. We refresh the contents of the intestines by providing new beneficial bacteria from very young people that are very well controlled and healthy and fit as well. And make the composition of the gut bacteria look again as it looked when we were ourselves 2025. And the body reacts to this rejuvenated environment that we have internalized inside here by also going back in time and reactivating repair genes from our younger adulthood. So these are our own genes from younger adulthood or adolescence that are being reactivated and they can start doing a tremendous repair job and have tremendous regenerative effects on the body, improving skin, texture, hair, vitality, sexual prowess, even fertility, and um, uh, even athletic performance, memory, cognitive function. So this is a completely new story and it's, it's, it's one of the hottest topics in medicine in the moment. There are different routes to rejuvenate the microbiome, that is the overall composition of all beneficial bacteria that are living on and inside our body. First is the oral route, but that is uh, quantitatively limited because I cannot administer enough material. Or there is a technical route with an endoscope, like you would use for a colonoscopy. Or there is a quite simple and, uh, and well-probed uh, route that is using a retention enema with a very thin tubing that is inserted rectally. Uh, there is no discomfort, there is no pain, uh, and we can deposit huge volumes of 160 milliliters of culture medium containing billions of fresh cells, bacterial cells, and they form a new balance with those bacterial uh, cells that we already have. Now, where do the bacteria come from? We use for this, we have, we have a group of very well examined, very well known young donors between 18 and 25, who all qualify for this role of donor by being super healthy, super slim, athletic, and in a very good mood. And they also must be willing to be regularly tested and also to be regularly interviewed so that we know them like adopted children.